Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. I'm just thinking that we're gonna start out and say it's all ogre now for this enemy. Not like that. Uh, I already fucked up really badly. Uh, but the intention was to get a really cool drop attack with the all ogre now line. Uh, which didn't quite work out. But I'm not one to take defeat, so we're gonna, you know, recover and continue on. Fuck, this guy has a lot of HP. I was looking back at the previous episode and realized that, holy fuck, man, I... That's not what I meant to do. I meant to jump forward. I played like an absolute asshole. I don't know what was going on. Uh, probably... I just got done f uh, with lunch before I had a big ass lunch and that probably is what did it. Okay, well, that actually wasn't as difficult as it seemed, so we're gonna... Huh. Oh, I bet you have to get him to... Shit. That's what it is, right? You have to get him to break it. The question is, does he respawn? He does respawn. Okay. If I pull this off, this is gonna be a 500 IQ move if I've ever seen one. No! What the fuck? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that wasn't... I thought I was so smart. Turns out I'm not. Okay, so I have some souls. Uh, let's see if I can level up. No shit. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the actual area. I don't know how long I'm gonna mess around with that ogre. I don't think he can break the thing. So I'm gonna stop trying because the only thing it's resulting in is me getting killed and fucking hell have I done some dying uh, in this game over the last couple of episodes. Still we're not dissuaded uh, to use fancy words. It's all part of the process, you know, of playing a Souls game. Oh shit, I forgot about that. That monster back across. You know, the one that looked like the tutorial boss? Shit. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. We're gonna make progress. We can warp in and out technically anytime. So, you know, I'm not that worried. God, this Dalsim motherfucker is crazy. Yoga... what is this? That's Yoga Flame. Yeah. He's instant airing those Yoga Flames. Oh, <laughs> that damage. Listen, buddy. Uh, don't even try that shit. Don't even try. Now I could be going a little bit stealthier here, but... Uh, just doesn't... Gel currently. Your only mistake was your choice of muster. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. She killed a crotch knight. Who are you? Well, who do we have here? Tarnished. Are She's you? definitely an NPC. Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lou. Tarnished and warrior. Yeah, she's gonna be Henri slash Slayer. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. So what is this thing he's doing, this grafting? Because everyone is talking about it. Yeah, she's definitely, she had definitely has a quest. She's cool. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, she looks like the starting 
warrior class, I think that was. Yeah, that kind of has that same vibe. With basically the strength build. So I'm assuming that she has like a big ass axe or something. Golden seed, that is... Oh, hello there, giant. That is the thing that upgrades your flasks. So we are definitely gonna utilize that. Man, you always know. This is this is a Souls classic. You always know. Whenever the game starts absolutely throwing upgrade materials at you, you know the game is saying like, hey fool, it's time to upgrade. Uh, this is this is your chance now, you know. Dark Souls 2 really is the one I mean Dark Souls 3 really is the one that did this to a T where Hey, all of a sudden, large shards just start cropping off left and right. It's like, hey, it's time to upgrade. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I can't summon my wolves here. This looks like hella a place where the wolves would be mega useful. Fucking hell, bleed is destroying. And now there I can. Okay. Come on, wolfos. Show this bitch what's up. I always forget you can summon these things outside of bosses too. And they're getting stomped. Did they already get destroyed? Well, that wasn't... That wasn't the best showing wolves. Is he freaking... Yeah, he's freaking out. Fuck. Man, <laughs> bleed is so cheap. <laughs> it's so cheap. Holy shit. 900 damage. Okay. can still get killed. There we go. No, I can't. It's, it's really unbelievable. It really is. Uh, question is... Is that the boss already? I think it might be, yeah, 100%. 100%. I know a boss when I see one. And that is a boss fog. What's his name, Godric? The question is... This could be a trap. Fucking hell, they're quick. But these are not crystal lizards. Ash of War Stormcaller. We're gonna take a look at that. So yeah, these are not crystal lizards. They're more like... I mean, it, I guess it's the closest equivalent, but... Uh, they don't just carry upgrade materials. They have all sorts of shit going on for them. Holy... Are you kidding me? Is that one hostile? Yes, it is. No... Don't tell me I have to kill the... Whoa, you have a lot of HP. Okay, hold on. Chill, chill. I don't want to kill the pod, buddy. But wow. Okay. Am I going to get screwed? Luckily, they're slow as hell. Man, this... <laughs> it's quite an enemy. I must say, this is quite the enemy. You got going on here. Man, I, I kind of feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I can bleed this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> put it out there. Body splash. This thing thinks it's Hugo from Street Fighter V. Why do I keep making Street Fighter V references? It's not difficult, though. That's for sure. Wow. Living jar shard. Raw meat dumpling. Gross. At least cook it. Soup dumplings. Those are delicious. Let's not talk about food, because I literally just had lunch as well. 
Oh, this is 100% a shortcut. Back to somewhere. And it could be something completely different, but... It is. Or is it not? Hold on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I was confused for a second. The interiors kind of look the samey. Okay, we can level up. Question is, what should I put my one point into? I feel like HP is the thing that I'm still lacking. I have a lot of stamina. Uh, it looks like this game is quite bloodborne in that you can basically manage without upgrading your stamina so much because individual actions take so little. But the HP man, like, I don't know. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I killed this thing again as I was trying to navigate towards the the other monster and I think I got his weapon let's just check this out the reason I'm saying check this out is the following 19 strength and 16 dex hmm yeah this is <laughs> Here's the thing, the, one of the things I wanted is a great sword, a claymore, bastard sword or whatever, but then I got thinking that I really like the curved great swords, like the Murakumos and all that, uh, and I think this is that, like look at this thing, let me just check it out, it doesn't say the web, curved, it's a curved great sword, and it's heavy, but that kind of looks badass, and if I remove my samurai armor, I think this, I think this is it. I think this is gonna be my main weapon, boys. Uh, it just, well, main weapon for now, it's kind of exactly what I'm looking for in the weapon that I want, and... Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it. I like the look of it and all that. Because I was thinking that maybe I'll keep the samurai-ish aesthetic, maybe without the armor, but sort of still have decks because we have decks. So why not use it if we have it? Uh, and I also wanted a strength weapon as well, but the curved greatsword weapon category is like the perfect sort of balance between those two factors. So, I think we got it, boys. And, you know, again, really, what weapon I use and how frequently I'll change what weapon I use really depends on how, like, easily accessible upgrade materials become. Honestly, from what I've seen... Fucking hell. That shot over here. Cosplaying. Uh, from what I've seen so far... The upgrade materials are not that easy to come by. So... I don't know. I would think that, or I'm hoping that... An open world game like this... With a shit ton of... Okay, you're strong. With a shit ton of weapons and options and all that... Would go the Dark Souls 2 route and make upgrade materials super accessible. Because... That's one of my favorite aspects of Dark Souls 2, in that you can try out a shit ton of weapons. I was expecting something like that. You can try out a shit ton of weapons because you have just, again, very easy... Oh, so broken. Very easy access to upgrade materials. So I'm really hoping this game follows that trend. Uh, that was the tutorial boss, wasn't it? Highland Axe. Now, that's something I don't need. That was way easier than in the tutorial. Although, that might not have been sort of the boss version, you know, because FromSoft does that kind of shit sometimes. I don't know. Still, it did lead to quite a few... Use stone sword 
interesting. I have one. This has to be like, this is like the fragrant branch, right? Yeah, it is. Hopefully it doesn't just lead to this treasure room. I know I'm taking damage, but then again, these guys are dealing jack shit. To my total HP. Please tell me this was worth it. Hawk Crest Wooden Shield. Okay. Iron Wet Blade. And uh, Misery Cord. It's a dagger. Dagger favored by military physicians in white. The pointed blade is hard and sharp, making critical his hits especially potent. Medicine is mercy, and mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. Beware the killer's clothed as man of compassion. Cool. Is this? That is kind of badass. You gotta admit that's kind of badass. And then what I can do is... Uh, Yep, and have access to quick step. I knew it. I knew I was gonna find some dope shit here. Does it still deal bleed? That's the question. I don't care that much, but still. Okay. Conclusion. Hella, hella worth coming down here. And the other thing is, I gotta keep an eye out on the stone sword keys because apparently that all leads to useful shit can you not critical attack the dogs i guess not maybe you have to go behind them or something chrysalid's memento okay I definitely gotta take a look at some of this shit that I've gotten. Brooch wrapped in red velvet. Memento left by the chrysalid sacrificed for grafting. A brooch wrapped in red velvet. Traces of blood are visible. Faintly visible spirits try to convey something, but their voices cannot be heard. It's a key item too. Probably something to do with a quest, right? And this can be used as a whetstone knife. And this allows the use of Ashes of War at Sites of Grace to best to new battle arts. And this, when applying an affinity using Ashes of War, an additional affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. Interesting. So basically, you no longer, as from what I understand, is that you no longer choose... Ah, oh, this is hello shortcut, right? Yeah. You no longer choose your sort of aff like weapon affinity, like strength, poison and all that via the blacksmith. But you choose it via this. Like your knife. That is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, the question is, what do I want to do? I think what I want to do is go back to the round table hole just for a little bit and think about what we or how we want to proceed. The honest thing is I do have a shit ton of golden runes, so I'm like, why not use some of these and level up a bit more? I'm going to keep one around just in case I um, like really need runes for something. But let's just see. We can get our decks to 16, which probably with two-handing allows me to use my weapon, my intended weapon, right? This, I think, yeah. So we can two-hand it. Don't do the fucking gesture. Uh... What? Oh, it's because I can't... Yeah, never mind. I, I understand. How naked do we have to go? Not that naked. That's very convenient. Yeah, you know what? I'm committing. 
let's talk to the blacksmith and upgrade this weapon. Cool, and then this. Okay, so how I managed to do this is I sold a bunch of like duplicate weapons and things I'm not gonna need. Like pretty much any strength weapon and any of that shit I can happily sell. Uh, and anything again that I have like a duplicate of, I don't mind getting rid of. Cool, sorry I broke your chair, uh, let's go back. Now here's the deal though. Is this actually the boss? I can use it. Cool. This very much looks like a boss arena. I'll just say that much. Oh, fuck. Is that Godric? This guy's gonna be gross, isn't he? He's gross. Oh, shit. He has a lot of arms. It's the human centipede. He's loud as hell too. I have my turn TV turned way down. Still he's loud. Doesn't look that scary. No way. Godric the Graft. So does Grafted mean they just have like a bunch of useless ass like arms on them? Okay. He's using the attacks of his minions. Okay. I mean, this is attempt number one, so we're gonna... Oh, fuck. We're gonna come in here with low expectations and be pleasantly surprised if anything happens. Oh, interesting. Using fucking Hadokens. Not Hadokens. Big freak out. Okay. Did he just roast me? I think he just did. Uh, this weapon, it it's good. Uh, that much I can tell. One thing though is I definitely need to go searching for more uh, upgrade stones to get it to at least plus three or four because I have the second level ones. It's just I'm missing the necessary like level one stones fuck that delay holy shit that was quite an attempt so i'm gonna give this a few shots he this is basically almost the same thing as margit and look like looks like there's like from the same cult or some shit all right wolfos bringing out the big guns here give this a rank now we're more even, bitch. Oh yeah? Okay. Glad we both had the same idea. He's just gonna destroy the wolves. Sort of. Don't worry, I haven't bought out, brought out the actual big gun. Which is the fucking Reducia or whatever it's called. I'm betting you money this fool, yep, okay. I was like, I'm betting you money this fool can be bled. And that is exactly the right thing. I mean, I have my tactic. If like things become really desperate. Shit. Quite a range on that. Yeah, uh, bleed. Just bleed. Bleed is the way to go.
Oh yeah, one thing that NPC was talking. There she is, Nefeli Lu Warrior. Like you can just straight up. There is no like negative for summoning, right? I think. Or does it consume this? I have no idea. <laughs> I knew she was a strength build. I fucking knew it. I'm just gonna try it. And you can summon the wolves as well. Although I'm betting that, just like in any other Souls game, the actual NPC does increase the boss's HP. Yes, it does. Or its defenses or something. That jump though, did you see that? Don't tell me that wasn't badass. Holy shit, the choir. They brought out the choir. That's how you know a Souls boss is serious. I forget. He has some insane delays on his attacks. You gotta be like real careful. gonna freak out yep uh, are you okay what the hell you did that to yourself don't don't go blaming me for that he's gonna do some shit he's gonna do some shit like grow five more arms or something Oh, fuck off. What is he? Is he gonna wake up the dragon? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, th this is like the thing. He like merged with... <laughs> I like it. I appre... Oh, shit. Oh, no. All right, Nefeli. They're gonna get fucked up. I can already tell. Bleed. Ah, oh, now he does three attacks. Yeah, these the delays. She's dead. She kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. That, that is insane. Okay, well, we gave her a try. That's for sure. This is a cool boss. It's not that difficult, though. Like, I played like an absolute asshole throughout this whole endeavor, and look how far I've gotten. Plus, I didn't even use my stupid... Okay. Pay attention to the hitbox on that. It's a little bit messed up. Lesson learned. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. That's definitely not too bad. Cool. What do we need here? Uh, first of all... Okay, I can still summon... I'm not gonna summon her. I will just say that much. She isn't that useful. Plus, she just increases the boss's HP. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We need... Yeah. Sacred. Wait, then. What, what the hell did... What is that I picked up? I don't know. My, like, inventory or anything. This is like everything has to be named different. There it is. Increase... What? Increases Sacred Flask's number of uses. So then, bruh. 
You oh, Mr. Sketchhead, reading comprehension. Two, two golden seeds. Very well, game. Okay, let me break down my tactic here. I'm going to go ahead and try, go back to the open world and try getting uh, more smithing stones. Maybe even in this castle there are some. I'm probably going to look up where to farm smithing stones. That way I can get this weapon up. That way I can get it even past plus three. <sighs> and then we can take this full on because with a bit more damage he's going to go down like a bitch. He's not that difficult. Uh... Yeah, again, the fact that I got that far and I just screwed around is sort of testament. Okay, and maybe even I'll get some, like, levels to, like, work towards being able to one-hand this thing. Cool, we got a game plan. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring right here. Thank you guys very much for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe on the video, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.